A while back, we had Gus Mitchell as a guest on our stream team beekeeping chat, and we were able to talk a little bit about windbreaks and the importance of windbreaks in protecting your bees. And uh, so I thought I'd share that clip with you. It's a short clip, and I hope you enjoy another stream team nugget. I can't remember it ever yeah. being this windy, this consistently. And I yeah. think you mentioned that, didn't you, Gus, about the windbreak? I mean, yeah, man, I, I really try to make sure I have a good windbreak at all my, my bee yards. Um, it's a must. If I have a site and it's got everything else going for it, but no windbreak, then it's a no-go. What's, hmm. what's the reasoning behind that? Why do you do that? Uh, because I am in an agricultural area, their drift is real. So if a farmer's spraying, uh, he might have to spray when he can. And he's not going to pay attention to wind. Now, they're not supposed to spray when the wind's blowing, but they do. Uh, and you can get carried for miles. So a, a good wind break, those trees and shrubs and bushes will, will take on a lot of that before it, it gets in there and causes you any trouble. Also, uh, you know, it, it helps in the wintertime. It helps with overwintering, you know, when they got a, a wind break to keep those cold winds from just whipping around the hive and robbing all the heat out of it. Um, yeah you think it helps a lot. also it, it tends to hide your apiaries as well from from people that are, are being nosy or well i dropped mine on a on this cotton field and they're off the cotton field just a little ways but man i just had no idea how windy it was going to be out there and it's not windy like that much here it's just been an unusual year it's just like we've had these little fronts move through we've had some just torrential downpours like a lot of rain and then just the day after it's like the temperature drops some but man it just blows like i mean like stuff you hear about in other places it doesn't i mean you have occasional day here or there but my word it's been just crazy yeah so i don't know hopefully it, this has been just a very strange year down here um well i was talking to yeah. jose you know i got some queens from jose the california beekeeper they were having issues with wind out there in california he's just concerned because you know they're selling thousands of queens and he was really worried that you know that maybe he was really worried about the wind and so hopefully it all worked out the queens i got from him just i mean they're beautiful they're doing good so far and we'll see see how they do down the road we were talking about wind breaks so jim hamby asked would stacking square hay bales be okay for a northern wind break and yeah man uh sure would at my classroom i built a l-shaped uh, picket fence around my my class hives so Anything you can do to, to keep the wind off of them is going to be good. Go ahead. There's people that do that with the hay um, up here in Northeast Ohio. So you'll see that. Yeah, I've never worried too much about that because we don't have that big of an issue down here. But I know in mm -hmm. some areas it can be just nasty, you know, along the plains. Yeah. And if it's wide open spaces and it's a windy area, I know it can be just brutal with the wind and so i think that's important in some areas. <laughs> I had a bee yard, Bruce, off of a little lake. And it was a cypress lake. And the branches come all the way down to the bank, up close to the hives. I never had any problems. Farmer come in with one of those um, bush hogs that you turn up this way, come through, cut all the branches off the sides so that it, the wind could just wish just right across the water. Uh, I had higher than average losses that next year because of that. And I think it was because of the the cold, the wind going across the water. I don't know if it was damper wind or whatever, but just the way that it blew right up on the hives like that, uh, I saw a big difference. And that was about the only thing that had changed. Well, what'd y'all think of that? I hope you'll leave a comment down below. It is very important to have wind breaks in certain parts of the world. I know that's, that's true. Here in Alabama, it's not as big a deal, but I thought that was some interesting conversation uh, that we had that evening with Gus. We do our live stream team beekeeping chat videos on Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock Eastern. We rotate through our channels. We'll do one one week on my channel here at Bruce's Bees. We also rotate through Nature's Image Farm with Greg and Brian's channel at Castle Hives. And so I hope you'll join us for these uh, different chats. We have a good time and we really do cover some important information. We've had some really good guests on. We hope to have many more in the future. I'm going to put these little stream team nuggets in a playlist on the channel here at Bruce's Bees called Stream Team Nuggets. And so you can find several of these there. We also have a stream team beekeeping chat Facebook page. You're also welcome to join us there for upcoming announcements and events. And that's it for now. Hope you join us again in the future. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.